I am Dr. Shashidhar VK. I am heading the Medical Oncology Department at Vaidehi. So we as a medical oncologist are a dedicated group of uh, doctors here who provide full range of cancer treatment to the cancer patients. So we are equally skilled and we have a very dedicated set of staff nurses who are well trained and are well equipped in dealing with the cancer patients. So basically there are lots of cancers which are diagnosed here and uh, let's know something about the leukemias. So in leukemias, like basically they are called as blood cancers by common people. So leukemias can be acute leukemias or chronic leukemias. So acute leukemias are ones which happen within a very short span of time. That is the duration of symptoms may be around one week, 10 days or 15 days and patients can present with symptoms. Chronic leukemias, that is chronic myeloid leukemia or chronic lymphocytic leukemias, they usually present in a very indolent way. That is, they take a very long time to present and manifest and even if not treated, they can go on for a long period of time. So coming to leukemias, acute leukemias, there are basically two types. That is, acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloid leukemia. So ALLs are more common in kids, that is in the age group of around 1 to 10 years. So when to suspect that there is some problem, like whenever a normal child develops fever which is not responding to antibiotics, he has got some bleeding symptoms in the form of gums are bleeding, he is passing blood in the motion or he is having cough. So with the, any problem which is persisting for more than two weeks and in spite of antibiotics, if there is no relief of symptoms, then I think we should start evaluating the patient. So ideally, all acute leukemias, if they are uh, started treatment at appropriate point of time and managed properly, most of them can be curable. There is a common myth, like all cancer diagnosis is a death sentence. No, it is not like that. Most of the pediatric malignancies, that is cancers which happen in children, are curable and most of them can be taken care of well and all of them in fact once a successful treatment is done can lead a normal life. So basically the people will have some other myths that uh, treatment of cancer is very costly. Yes, treatment of cancer is costly but there are ways to get over this problem. Like basically various schemes are available in our hospital like we have Prime Minister Relief Fund, Chief Minister Fund is there, fundraising through MILAP is there. We have uh, some support from uh, uh, programs like GPAP or TPAP is running where drugs can be given free and treatment also can be subsidized and lots of uh, fund funding can be done for the treatment of malignancies. So basically all leukemias like acute leukemias that is ALLs we call them acute lymphoblastic leukemia happen in children. So once they are diagnosed with that, the treatment is long duration treatment where they will have to stay in the hospital for some time and they are treated and taken care by the medical oncologists and the nursing staff here actually. So coming to chronic leukemias, basically there are two types that is chronic myeloid leukemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So chronic myeloid leukemia is one peculiar uh, blood cancer where treatment can be done with the help of only tablets. So this is another myth that treatment of cancer is very complicated, patient has to undergo surgery, lots of uh, side effects and all these things can happen. But chronic myeloid leukemia is one classic example where treatment can be done only with the help of tablets. Lifelong, the patient has to take tablets which is fairly well tolerated and most of them have got a very good chance that they can lead a normal life on treatment. So, there are some myths like is the treatment of cancer very painful? Here we would like to uh, stress upon the point that treatment of cancer is not painful. It can be undergone properly. There are uh, instances where people come for treatment, take treatment, continue with their job and then come back for the next cycle of chemotherapy. So the only pain in uh, cancer treatment in uh, chemotherapy may be the accessing the IV line. It is like a small prick of an injection and whatever pain is that, only that is the pain and rest all can be done very easily. Second myth is, do the side effects of cancer treatment are permanent? Like, will I lose my hair permanently? Will I not be able to lead a normal life? Yes, this is a very common myth and here we would like to stress upon the fact that toxicities of treatment of cancer are not permanent. We can 
very well try to limit the toxicities patients can lead a normal life and once all the treatment is over uh, whatever the toxicities are there all of them can be reversed